the conventional technology they make use of molecular oxygen so that is some of the deficiencies of conventional wastewater treatment plant and also the sludge generation as um, upendra sir said is correct because it's nothing but happening in the biological treatment aerobic biological treatment, catabolism followed by anabolism so nearly about 50% of the cod destructed is converted to sludge so that is nothing but the yield coefficient value of that bacteria heterotrophic bacteria is such a high so that it anabolizes this the monomers into the polysaccharides proteins and other things given out as a sludge as there is new biomass is said to be produced during the course of aerobic biology system that is nothing but the energy produced out of the chemicals present in it. and the second question present that is what i try to say that why this conventional technology is not as much as efficient as them because main uh, main reason is they use molecular oxygen the molecular oxygen oxidation potential is only 1.24 volt so those are the organics comes across that to that level only can be degraded more particularly protein carbohydrates and then lipids and other things can be degraded and whose energy can be tapped up and then produces this new biomass that's what happening in a conventional system and another one more um, the uh, uh, participant was telling that and in um, aridwa the water has become not useful for developing fish and other microbes mainly due to that the non availability of dissolved oxygen it is said to be scavenged by this untreated chemicals present in the treatment by conventional wastewater treatment because those chemicals we call that emerging contaminants are health care products and soluble microbial products which are said to demand high energy that high energy is not able to be given by molecular oxygen however it could be this concentration of oxygen so even if we increase this concentration of oxygen it cannot able to work on degradation of such organics which require more oxidation potential and for that case we need to go for this refinement of good oxidant so instead of depend too much on oxygen molecular oxygen alone you try to go for this higher oxidation this oxidant like hydroxyl radical so this sort of technology can able to that is um, destruct this sludge also which are said to be produced by the bacteria at the same time it can take care of all the residual chemicals present in it when it treat that wastewater to the level of 10 to 20 mg of cod and before go for the filtrations and probably that water will be supporting for do pickup because generally we expect that a treated sewage should have the do at the level of 2 to 4 mg per liter but no wastewater comes out of this conventional scps made this standard that is the reason the fish or other diversities are not able to support with that water that's what is happening so now a change technology is required the change technology in the sense this the emerging contaminants also should be removed from our wastewater and another one more big mistakes what our people are doing it initially they are putting screenings 25 mm 12 mm 6 mm 1 mm so some of the technologies even in order to safeguard our biological treatment they put a sequence of the the screens before that they take out the screenings and dump it on this soil or open ground so this also causes a groundwater contamination so the entire thing allowed to go into the treatment then definitely this problem can be in malaysia they are available there is allowing only 25 mm bar screen they don't allow less than that so that the entire thing asked to people to treat that wastewater so that they do not get into this problem of this the screenings dumped on the soil matter that sort of the enforcement is not available in here fully agree with you when you use the word term molecular oxygen yes sir but atmospheric oxygen is unbound molecule sure definitely molecular oxygen unbound mole oxygen yes. has no role please yes if it had any biological role the plants would not have excreted that yes out of the process of photosynthesis now the advanced oxidation that you mentioned yes. is all about engaging oh radical yes. as an oxygen donor it is not o2 oh or coh or aldehyde ketone and all that no, they are the they are bound molecular oxygens o2 is unbound 
into bring to break O2 into 2O, it requires a huge energy. And biological system will not accept anything that is not affordable. Natural selection will not allow that to happen. My yes. only point is, unless we understand the biological principles at sub-molecular level, mere engineering technology, how far they will be successful is, I have been reading this uh, since 1995, and I have not come to terms with the role of atmospheric oxygen, because bacteria, when they appeared, they appeared 3.5 billion years ago. And atmospheric oxygen came on the planet 2 billion years ago. Does it mean first one and a half billion years there were no aerobic bacteria? Because there was no atmospheric oxygen. And if there were, there were aerobic bacteria, what was their source of oxygen? And their source of oxygen was oxalic acid, COOH, CO2, aldehyde, ketone, alcohols. My only point is, sir, I mean, I, I, I humbly submit that all these experts from IITs and your colleagues, if you try to involve the biological principle, because biological principle is sustainable. A, a, a labor working at a construction site, she eats the driest of roti without knowing anything about nutrition. And then she feeds a baby, which is healthy. There is no ma op uh, maintaining engineer, capex, opex are all thrown out of the gear. So sewage is a biological system, is not a man-made system. Even amoeba excretes. Sir, this is a man, this is a biological, but it's a man-made chemicals also no. available. So man-made is a sewerage. <laughs> forcibly added into that. That's why the problem comes in. Because okay, now, now once coming... you say that, as you go back to some so a few years back, hundred years back, they were not using any sort of the chemicals, drugs, they were not consuming it. Now we started consuming drugs in the morning till night. So the drugs has to be excreted and comes into this. The you are uh, sewage. So the sewage really that is a COD at the level of about 40 to 60 milligram per liter at the level, which we say that which cannot be treated further to it. That is chemical. Those are this emerging chemicals. Those are the chemicals that are difficult to be degraded by our bacteria. Because I understand that environmental engineers also take a work with this life sciences because we cannot deviate out of it. So we have to encroach the uh, life science, that is the uh, life sciences. And based on that, only this environmental engineering and public works, public works engineering works on it. So that we cannot go beyond to the nature. We cannot go against the nature. We are working with the nature only. But one the thing is now the change technology to accommodate the degradation of this residual organics or difficult organics or refractory organics, as you pointed out earlier, like a cement like materials are said to be present in the sewage also. They also require to go for this further degradation with the a treatment or change technology or modern, modern that is uh, modified oxidants or some of the matrix. So in this case, we have to go in with at the same time should not invite the generation of sludge or so called the biomass should not produce again. Another one more thing, some of the before we conclude the one point I just said that some of the technologies available. And mostly they derive on activated sludge process only. And it's a sludge accumulation process. So the sludge accumulation technologies have got the very, very tremendous or other bad remarks on it. They absorb, they biosorb some of the organics are said to be refractory organics into it. And some of the heavy metals are said to be biosorbed by this biomass and it get to be recycled here. And once the sludge produced in this the sludge saving technology. And when they dump it on the soil and they bound to discharge the leach into this groundwater. And once this, again, the organics enter the groundwater, it comes back to us. That's why <coughs> now people say that even the breast milk contains microplastic. The microplastic, that's a monomer said to be entered through this body. 
and so that it comes into this milking mother. So it's all due to that. This, some of the organics were not justified by the treatment given by our bacteria in sewage treatment, what they use, heterotrophic bacteria, and they are not able to bring. So bacteria and our molecular oxygen cannot justify for the chemicals, which are said to be demanding very high oxidation potential. And the oxidation potential, if you supply in any means, probably we can able to solve the issues.